Welcome to Aurora Graphics. My name is Grant Dorsey, and this week I thought I'd show you guys how you can uh, make your, your layout actually extend around to the rear side of a vehicle. Um, this technique that I'm getting ready to show you is suited for very square type vehicles, and so the more um, angular the vehicle or rounded, uh, your techniques are going to be a little bit different. But for something simple like this, there, I know there's a lot of company vehicles that are, are pretty square, whether it's a Sprinter van or a Chevy van like this. Um, but for those type of wraps, it's very simple to, to get around the backside and make everything line up. And so I thought I'd just take a little bit of time here and show you how to do that. The first thing that you'll want to do is once you get your side file laid out, um, it, it, and, th and by the way, this will work as long as you're using the method that I put on one of our previous videos. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. Um, it's, it's about mirroring your layout to the other side. And so as long as both sides of your layout are identical, what I'm getting ready to show you will work. If they're different, you're going to have to do the wraparound for each side individually. Uh, but So let's go ahead and get started. If you look over here in the layers palette, I've got my, my logo and phone number layers here in a folder. I've got all the flowers in a folder. And then I've got my accent pieces I put in here. And then the background, uh, I'll look this up and put a link in the description. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head here. So the first thing we'll want to do is take our marquee tool. And what I'm going to do is is find three points of reference that I can also see on the rear side of the vehicle. And so the three that I've chosen is going to be just underneath the tail light here, uh, just over the top of the bumper, and then I'm putting this edge of the marquee tool right at the very edge of the body line, and that's going to be right here on the uh, the rear template. I don't know if you guys can see my little cursor there. So this is this is going to be the edge that we're going to mirror around. Even though whenever you go to actually install the vinyl, your cut's going to be at the door, uh, we're going to go ahead and make this our reference point for our layout. That way it's, it's real easy and to tell exactly where you need to be. The main thing is, is that we can see that on the side and on the rear. So that's the, the most important part about this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer on top of all of our design layers. And if I just dump a color in there, I can then add a layer style to it and put a, a gradient on this. And so now if we turn off our template layers, you can see that we've got a gradient going from white to black. And the reason why I use a gradient or you know, you could just put a stripe of one color down this one edge, that just helps you remember as you, you go to your other side as to which edge is actually lining up with the, the proper area on the vehicle. Um, if, you're, if you're quick at this, you could just use a solid color. Uh, the point is, is that you need to make sure that you remember where that reference edge is. So now we can select, deselect, and uh, the next thing is going to be to drag all of the layers that you want from the side file and that need to match up right here over to your back file, to the back side of the template. Um, for instance, I'm going to be placing all these logos and the phone number and stuff like that separately, and they're not going to wrap around the corner, so I don't really need to drag all of my layers over here. So what I'm going to do is just grab the flowers, the accent, and the background, and then this new square that we've created. And then I'll just grab these and drag them over into our template. Get rid of this for now. And if I zoom in a bit here, we can go ahead and turn off the mask that we've got, but we want to still see the edge of the van. And that way you can tell like right here is where the bottom of the brake light is. Get this out of the way. And you notice that I've still got all these layers selected. It's, it's simple right now because I have them all grouped, but if you had a whole ton of different layers here, this could get kind of complicated. So if you leave them selected, it's, it helps uh, until you get them finally placed. But the edge of our brake light is going to be here, and the, the top of our bumper is going to be right here. And then, of course, this is the corner that we're trying to wrap around. So I can simply just line up that white edge. 
what you want is the white edge to land right here on the corner as best you can. You can see there's a slight curvature to the vehicle, um, but as long as you're pretty close, it's, it's not going to be noticeable whatsoever after you've, you've trimmed it to this door. So we'll keep our, our uh, white edge right here. You notice I've got the top lined up right with the brake light, and then we've got our bottom edge down here right at the bumper. And so the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to zoom out like this to where I can see the center of the rest of our design off screen. And what I'll do here is grab this center point and I'm going to drag it over here and drop it right on this line. And if I use control plus to zoom in and then use the hand tool by pressing the space bar, you can see that I'm right on the edge of that. And so now that's going to be our pivot point where we mirror around the back side. Now, if you had enough design from your side file, um, here, let me go ahead and just commit this real quick. Uh, if you had enough design off the rear of your side file here, you can see mine gets chopped off. If I had enough design, you could actually continue this all the way around the back of the vehicle, and, and that would work uh, to be a continuous flow around. But since I don't have enough design left off the back side of this, what I'm going to have to do is mirror it right here. And that's when we're going to want to zoom out here. Grab this center point right there. Because this is going to be actually where the, the pivot is when you mirror. And so we'll place that right there on the edge of that file. And then now we'll right click and click flip horizontal. And so now what we've done is we've mirrored exactly on that white edge. And so now this is going to be what overhangs back into the side and this is going to be the the production file for the rear of our image and you notice i only flipped the flowers layer we don't want to do that what we want to do is grab all of these i have to zoom back in and make sure i'm in the right spot and i am so now we can right click flip horizontal and you see our entire layout flipped that looks good and so the next thing that we can do is uh, turn off this square um, in fact we can even turn off this part of the the template and if you want to bring yourself a, a guide over here just to to help out with this I'm gonna put that guide right there in the center of our layout I'm gonna turn this back off and now all of the flowers that go around the corner they need to stay here and all of the flowers that are going to cross off this center line we're going to we're going to get rid of as long as they don't wrap around to the side file that's the most important part so i'm going to go ahead and delete that layer nine layer eight layer four and we can actually use a couple of these for our next part of our layout here. And I'm gonna move these forward in the layer stack. Uh, you can just, I'm actually using the hotkeys for it. Um, you can just move these forward in your layer stack like so. And then we can turn back on our template and replace these flowers sort of how we like the, how, how we wanna see it in the finished product here. So that looks pretty decent there. And the next thing we can do is flip these horizontal. Actually, let's I'm going to turn these three layers off and I'll show you what we do real real quick to uh, to get this to mirror around to the other side. Now that I've got a guide set up right where we're going to cut down the very center of the vehicle, I can actually sweep select this entire thing and then go edit copy merged right here. And that's going to copy all those layers into a single layer. And now I'll just go ahead and paste that. We'll scoot it over here and flip it horizontally and then line it back up with our other file. View clear guides. And so now we've got a, uh, a perfect mirror there. And if you'd like, you can actually paste in this this side as well and then get rid of the rest of these background layers here 
and that way there's no confusion as to what's going on here. Make sure that I'm on the right layer over and up one and you notice I zoomed in right here so you can tell exactly if it's going to line up now most likely that would fall in the door edge but if for some reason you were off on your install left or right whatsoever um, it's best to just make sure you've got everything lined up perfect and so now we can come back in here and turn on our other flowers we're going to want to move these things to the back in fact I'm going to pull them out of the folder and just move them below turn off our negative objects uh, now we can reposition our flowers as we wish you notice I've still got a few more back here and if I scoot it up in the layer stack maybe grab this one and scoot it up as well and we'll just turn on our template and see how that looks In fact, I may want to do it like this and just cover up the rest of those smaller flowers back in there. Maybe move up a couple of them, something like this. Anyways, you could fill up the back with flowers if you'd like, or you can leave this gap open if you'd like in order to put more text, um, something like that. But if you follow, like I was saying before, if you follow the, the mirroring your layout tutorial that I did, you'll be able to make both sides wrap around to the back and match up perfectly when they cut at this door edge. And uh, so essentially that's, that's uh, how you go around the back of your vehicle and make everything line up. I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you have any questions, um, please leave me a comment below. I try to get back to everybody who makes a comment on my videos. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, I'd really appreciate hearing them. Um, thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.